It was the album that made her a global star. Left of the Middle sold over 7 million copies worldwide, took the number one spot in the charts and received three Grammy Award nominations. Well, now 25 years on and none of us can quite believe that. <laughs> God, what's Natalie happened? Natalie Imbruglia <laughs> is celebrating the uh, album's success by re-releasing it on vinyl and she's heading out on tour in the UK as well. Um, let's just get over that 25, 25. year. I've got, I've got I was it, like, got what? It here. We'll is it really? Is, is it really that thing? long? Yeah. Crazy. That's totally mad. It's been a blink, to yeah. be honest. It's you were blink. you are sitting there in the most gorgeous blue, <laughs> and uh, and here it is, uh, which is the exclusive <laughs> blue vinyl. Look at that! I remember these coloured yeah. vinyl. Yes, okay. we thought we should commemorate the occasion. It, it seems very fitting so. and right. I mean, that that song, which you're, we're very lucky that you're going to be performing it for us today, Torn. I mean, when you first did that, when you made that, I mean, it was an iconic video. Everything down to your hair, down to what you're wearing. Um, <laughs> did you have any idea of the impact that that would have at that time? No idea. I don't think anybody did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was, because I'd come from a soap, I really thought that people were going to be giving me a hard time. And I thought maybe in, you know, five years' time, there'll be this song that I put out that maybe. Yeah. And so I was chasing the song around the world. Yeah. It's quite extraordinary. Yeah. But so grateful and so lucky to be a part of something that touched so many people. So I just yeah. feel. Well, you mentioned it. Yeah. Well, just to do this briefly because you've mentioned it now. It's, mm -hmm. it's quite neat. And that you say you just come from a soap. That soap has just finished. You went <laughs> back. And there you are with Holly Valance. Yes. Um, and uh, what a moment that was for all of us. It was great. We wanted to say thank you. Yeah. So we didn't get to hang out with everybody because their parts were shot in, in Australia. But we, we shot it in London. And it was just our way of kind of, you know, that, that show is the reason I'm in the UK. I know. It's, you know, I have so much to thank that show for. And we're all really sad that it finished, but it was it was kind of fun. A nice way of saying nice goodbye to, to it. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Um, back to the music, though. So this, I mean, what it, what it did do is it's connected you for years, actually, with so many different people. I mean, you that you had your own sort of musical success with it, and then you sort of had One Direction that then covered it on the, on the X Factor. <laughs> but also, very recently, I came to see you... Well, I didn't come to see you. I came to see Olivia Rodrigo with my daughter. Yes. And then you busted out on the stage and everyone went completely nuts and you two <laughs> performed a song together. And that was such an amazing moment as well. I know. I was shocked that she even knew who I was. And it was so flattering and so wonderful to, to know that the next generation also loves the song. Yeah. And, and yeah. Yeah. It's, it was just incredible. She's so lovely, by the way. Yeah, she's super seen... sweet. I don't know if, if anyone who's seen the footage, but we're actually singing to each other because we're being so respectful. We didn't even want to turn to the audience. So yeah, yeah, no, she's a lovely quite, girl. Quite the moment. Because you've got you've got a wealth of material. I mean, you've got all the all the stuff on Firebird that uh, yes, that, you could that came do. out last year, um, which was received well. And... and that was a that was a really personal album, wasn't it? It was. I think I went through a really hard time. I quit music and you know was trying to to have a start a family. And so I think once that was in place, mm. uh, the creativity flowed and Firebird is a result of that. So I guess I've got my son to thank for that too. Yeah. <laughs> you say that motherhood is literally the best thing that could ever have happened. It just brings joy to everything. I mean, the struggle is real. I'm sure you yeah. can appreciate that, just yeah. being a Bit working mum. Mm. But it's just been um, the most incredible experience and he loves coming to the shows. And... How old is well, he now? He's almost three. Right. Oh, yeah, that's a good age. That's and his little age. face when I come off stage. Uh, that's so nice. Well, he's, you're going to see that a lot more because you're going on stage a lot more because you've got the tour as that's well. Right. October 10. Um, it's a celebration of Left of the Middle, but we will be doing songs from Firebird. Mm. So I've got a short tour happening 10th of October uh, in the UK. So everybody needs to get their tickets because there's not that many shows. And um, it's just a really exciting time for me to be being creative again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you think that, because um, obviously last time you were here, um, you were talking about um, The Masked Singer and you were saying, although that didn't, it <laughs> was a strange one because you felt very isolated and you sort of couldn't talk to anybody. It was just this big secret to keep. But you said back then it gave you a lot of confidence in performing again. It did. I mean, I, as you know, I've never had dancers behind me on stage. Yeah. But as Panda, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go for it. I was doing all this choreography. But doing chore choreography when you can't see very well <laughs> and, and the heat in that costume. Yeah. It was quite a challenge. So I would say to anybody doing the show, make sure you get your cardio going. Yeah. Yes. And, <laughs> yeah, uh, and how good are you at keeping a secret? Because it always anyone that we've we've talked to who has had to do that has said, oh my God, you know, the secrecy obviously is vitally important. You just can't tell anybody what you're doing. Well, I was hiding out. I live in Oxfordshire, so that part was quite easy. Mm. 
but I'd shown videos of rehearsals to my son, thinking, well, you know, he can't speak. And then I went to Australia and, and he started talking. And we were at the airport and somebody had a panda wheelie bag, a little kid. Oh, no. And he starts going, mommy, mommy. And I was like, oh, no. I'm going to get <laughs> rumbled by my son. Oh, so that was quite funny. But it is hard. Yeah. It's hard to keep it a secret. But it's filmed uh, very close together in one chunk. Mm. So to be honest, by the time you finish filming before it goes to air, yeah. you're, you can kind of forget about it. So right, life's gets resumed. easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we are so pleased you're here. We really um, are. Good luck with the uh, with the tour. So you've got all the bits and pieces here. T tickets for uh, Natalie's tour on sale now. 25 years limited edition vinyl left in the middle, released on the 18th of November, but it is available to pre-order. And uh, I don't know whether right. all of them are blue, but certainly a lot of them are blue. It's an exclusive blue vinyl. So the yeah. original release was not. So yeah. that's why this. One's a bit special. A bit I'll special. It right up, so it's all on my socials. Like. 